Okay, let's look at how to use Git with IntelliJ to clone a project from GitHub. So inside IntelliJ, you'll go to File, New Project from Version Control. Um, under the URL, you will paste or type a uh, GitHub URL. Um, and this one, uh, github.com slash dwrvich slash video filter is down in the description of the video. And then you click clone. Um, this is what happens if the folder that you're trying to clone into already exists. Um, all you can do is create a new folder name. So now I'll clone it into a video filter two folder instead. Um, maybe it will say something about uh, like Git not being installed properly. If it does, you can click configure and you should probably type in the path to your version of Git. Um, you can know where your path is by opening a terminal and typing which Git um, or where Git, depending on what system you're in. Um, and it will give you the file path to where your Git executable is. And then you would type that like in a configuration panel um, to tell it where Git is, but it should automatically detect where it is. All right, so you click clone. If all works well, you should see the lower right hand corner here cloning the repository. And I'll open it in this window. Depending on what the project looks like, it will either just work or there will be a lot of configuration that needs uh, doing. So here you see if I open uh, one of the files, it says project JDK not defined. So what you do is you'd go to project structure and you define uh, an SDK. Um, we've been using uh, Java version eight a lot recently. So you do 1.8 and then your project language level has to match the SDK level. So if we're using Java version eight, you would set the language level back to eight. If you were using 16, you would set the language level to 16. Project compiler output, you should have a folder specified. If you don't, you can click here, browse, click the third button over, which will take you to the project folder that you're currently in. Um, you can click here to create a new folder, give it a name like out for output, select it, click OK. So you have uh, project compiler output. What else might be going wrong? Um, if these don't appear, if these, if these don't appear as nice blue circles and green circles and so forth, if it doesn't appear to recognize that these are source files, what you would do is right click on source, go down to mark directory as, and then you should have something that says sources root. Um, I, mine doesn't have that because it's already the sources root, but uh, if you see sources root, you would definitely want to set it as sources root. What else might be happening? Um, maybe it doesn't recognize a library that you have. So here I've got core.jar and some other jar files. Um, find where your jar files are, um, and you can either do this for each jar file individually or for the entire folder, but you'd right click and you'd go down to add as library, and then you can click OK to add it as a library. Mine's already been added, so I'm not gonna re-add it. Hopefully one of those things will make yours work. Um, if it doesn't, please email me, let me know. Good luck.